So then you were the last one to leave here yesterday. Yes, that's right. Nothing out of the ordinary? Well, uh, there was just one girl who was a stripper, and she got into a big argument with him before she left. I found this, sir. Then he fired his secretary. Wait, but there she is now. What's going on here? We have some questions for you, miss. What is your name? Jean Laval. When was the last time you saw your boss? Yesterday, before I left work. After you were fired? Well, yes. Where were you at approximately exactly 9 o'clock last night? What are you getting at? Let's take a little walk. People might want to go on home. You should have seen how angry she was before she left. Who knows what she was thinking? Would you be quiet? This is a rather sticky question, miss, but... Is this your stocking around his neck? No, that is certainly not mine. Oh. Exactly how upset were you after you were fired? I was in a sour mood. Did I mention that she filed a sexual harassment suit against him about a month ago? And then she said she couldn't wait for it to go to court. Oh, really? Wait a minute. Why don't you ask her some questions? That's her stalking around his neck. Uh, Miss... May I call you Busty? The name is Bettina. Yes, well, uh, when was the last time you saw Mr. Wilter? Uh, we spoke yesterday. He asked me to come back for the check that he owed me. I see. And when did you come back? Later that evening? No, I'm just coming back for it now. Are you certain about that? You should have seen the argument she had with him. It was worse than the one Jeannie had. Can't you keep your mouth shut already? Why? What are you trying to hide? What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? You both hated this man. Typical male chauvinist, right? Huh? Probably planned this out together. Worked out an alibi and... and, and everything. Now, wait just a minute there, mister. Then you better get yourself an attorney. A good one. We're taking you both downtown for questioning. Come on. Thank you. 